What's up everybody, Drumming Gaming here, really quick video, I also want to let you know that for the past you know, week or so I haven't been able to upload much because uh, for those that forgot or don't know already, I I'm of course doing my internship and it means you know very long work days from 6 in the morning getting up to 6 uh, getting at home as well, so you know 12 full hours in a day and yeah I'm just super tired at night as well, so I just haven't been able to, to make much the past week, but I've got a bunch of videos coming up uh, in the next couple of days on Detroit, I've got my first uh, Black Ops 3 multiplayer match, playing that live for a video and stuff and a bunch of other videos so look forward to that, I'm gonna start uploading again uh, you know in the very near future. For now though I want to talk a bit about Uncharted 4 and about a thing that many of you have been discussing which is are Chloe and Cutter going to be um, in the game. Now here's the thing, Uncharted 4 got announced two years ago already, I think it was yeah November of 2013 the month that the PlayStation 4 came out, it's like you know it's like what it's uh, it's November of, of, of 2015 now that's two years later already that's pretty insane right and I mean five more months and the game is coming out we still haven't heard anything about those characters what's going on there well you know of course and I quickly want to lead into this uh, article that I read by a website called Fina because they asked themselves uh, themselves the same question and then um, they actually had a little chat with Arnie Meyer the community strategist at Naughty Dog and they asked him about you know where are Chloe and Cutter and Arnie pretty much uh, said I don't know if I'm at liberty to speculate about all that right now we've been pretty tight-lipped about the story and the fates of characters and we haven't revealed everyone who's in the game yet there's a little bit more to reveal soon so it's basically a standard answer you know he just can't say anything at the moment here's my two cents about this okay Chloe and Kata I think they're both gonna be in the game Chloe most definitely because that's a character that people really care about regarding the Uncharted franchise right she's been in Uncharted 2 and 3 now so there's no way you know they're gonna kind of like just abruptly not do anything with her storyline anymore or something this being especially, you know, the final Uncharted game, you would really hope that they at least show Chloe, they, she gets some more screen time and stuff. Um, Cutter, I don't really know. Cutter was only featured in Uncharted 3. I don't think that many people liked him, you know, a lot. Uh, I thought it was a cool character, but I'm not sure if he was necessary to be added. Then again, once again, he definitely wasn't bad or something, but I do expect this, this being the final game that they have to close off at least the storylines of the main characters that we, that we, you know, knew up until this point and I think Cutter does count to that as well probably to a lesser extent and I would I would you know think that Cutter gets less screen time than somebody like Chloe would uh, but I I totally think that both gonna be in the game that being said what Arnie said is that there's a little bit more to reveal soon and I also heard uh, Troy Baker and Nolan North say in another interview that apparently very soon we'll be getting a bit more uh, info on the backstory of Sam you know Drake's brother and that you know makes me believe that at PlayStation experience we will probably get some kind of of story trailer that will actually show us or tell us more about what the game is about. Who is Sam exactly? Why did Drake think he was dead all this time? What happened to him in the past? Uh, we're probably gonna find a bit more out about that uh, at PlayStation Experience. So that's super exciting stuff, but I do think they're really leaving a lot to be a surprise, um, you know, for you to uncover basically when the game comes out. And that's great because that was one of the criticisms with Uncharted 3, is they revealed so much of that game that by the time you played it, you already pretty much knew where it was going, what set pieces you were gonna see, all that kind of stuff. I feel like with Uncharted 4 they're really leaving, you know, the best out and they're saving it for you to experience by yourself once the game comes out and I only think that's a really good thing so I can't wait to find, you know, find out more about all these characters and about what sort of locations we'll be visiting, all that kind of stuff. Um, but for now, of course, I want to know your thoughts on this in the comments. So do you think Chloe and Carter will be in the game? And then for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to all the other videos I've got coming up in the next couple of days. And then for now, thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Okay.